I want you to hit me as hard as you can. All actors are kinda crazy. Oh goody. Especially that one guy they call Woody. He started out in theater and explored his passion. His dad was a hitman mafia assassin. Some conspiracy theories connect Woody's dad to JFK. Woody thinks his father was trained by the CIA. Now we cannot judge Woody by the sins of his dad. Woody understands that what he did was bad. He has been in many great films, Where Do We Begin? Woody only eats raw foods. He's a strict vegan. Harrelson graduated with an English and theater degree. He calls himself a happy hippie. Woody was arrested for dancing in the street and causing traffic to stop. He laughed as he jumped out a moving police van and punched a cop. He got his start on that show where everybody knows your name. And now, everybody knows his name. Woody almost didn't do Cheers. He wanted to do more theater instead. Once he went on a boat and did Mushrooms with Ted. Woody played a character named Woody and got an Emmy Award. Now Woody is the owner of his own oxygen bar, cause that's something he can afford. Woody Harrelson often speaks out about the Illuminati and is a 9-11 truther, but I'm not exactly sure if that's true or if that's just a rumor. He plays with the band Manly Moondog and the Three Cool Hats. He rocks, and he was in Doc Hollywood with his friend Michael J. Fox. Woody Harrelson is an artist, and he identifies as an anarchist. For white men can't jump, he had to move quick. This is a favorite film of Stanley Kubrick. Harrelson played basketball while he was in college. The studio hired a Pistons player to fill Woody with his basketball knowledge. This caused Woody's career to jump to new heights, and he became good friends with Wesley Snipes. Woody gives performances that could kill us. For Indecent Proposal, the Demi Moore sex scenes were awkward because he's good friends with Bruce Willis. Next, he took on a role that was a little freaky. Natural Born Killers was named the number one movie of the 90s by Entertainment Weekly. Oliver Stone cast Woody because he saw a killer in his eyes. And some say this film inspired real crimes. This is a very violent film that is actually anti-violence, let me get that clear. It was on a list of most dangerous films voted on by Premiere. Playing a mass murderer put Woody on high demand, even though in many countries Natural Born Killers was banned. Woody Harrelson always fights for marijuana rights. In Money Train, he once again teamed up with Wesley Snipes. He starred in Kingpin from the Brothers Farley and sang a song about weed with Ziggy Marley. I see marijuana trees blowing in the breeze. Woody really gets the comedy flowing, and in real life, he's actually horrible at bowling. Next came a performance that we will never forget. It was Milos Forman's The People vs. Larry Flint. Woody was nominated for an Oscar for playing a real-life pornographer. Woody considers Larry Flint to be a father figure. I guess that's great. And at the Academy Awards, Woody brought Larry as his date. Woody Harrelson often partakes in tomfoolery. He even wore the real Larry Flint's jewelry. He was arrested for planting hemp seeds and protesting pot policies. While in jail, he signed autographs and took pictures with all the police. Sometimes Woody does that outspoken political talking. He was in that political satire, Wag the Dog, with Dustin Hoffman. He has worked with some of the greatest directors of all time, like Terrence Malick in The Thin Red Line. Woody Harrelson can be a cinema dork. After he rapped, he stayed on an extra month just to watch Malick work. Woody loves drugs and he does them freely. He was in that Ron Howard comedy called Ed TV. It's a film about how low TV will go, and he worked with Ron Howard again in that movie about Han Solo. Woody Harrelson has come a long way, and he often works with Matthew McConaughey. For Play It to the Bone, he trained hard to get ready, based his character off boxer Angel Manfredi. Woody Harrelson is an awesome dude. In Anger Management, he played a transsexual prostitute. Woody Harrelson is the greatest. Well, he very well might be. He was in She Hate Me, directed by Spike Lee. We are learning a lot about Woody, but are we having fun yet? Woody had lots of fun on the set of After the Sun Set. When it comes to Woody, anything goes. During a North Country fight scene, he broke a guy's nose. Harrelson is a pro. He's simply the best. He climbed the Golden Gate Bridge for an environmental protest. He worked with Robert Altman, and under his direction, he could really thrive. 
All of the music in Prairie Home Companion was recorded live. Name anything and Woody can do it. Him and John C. Riley would duet. Liquor, she said, and liquor I did, and I don't work there anymore. He was in a rotoscope animation. Linkletter made it. A Scanner Darkly was based on a book by Philip K. Dick. Woody is an actor unlike all the others. He can work with the Farley and the Coen brothers. Harrelson narrated a documentary about smoking grass, and in No Country for Old Men, the bad guy smokes his ass. <laughs> Woody, you are a funny guy. I like to laugh at you. To get away from it all, he lived in a tent for weeks in Africa. Woody Harrelson's acting is cause for celebration. Most of the movie The Grand was improvisation. Woody's real name is Woodrow. He returned to basketball with the comedy Semi-Pro. Woody is really good at shooting hoops, and he really supports the troops. For The Messenger, he was nominated for an Oscar. He didn't win, but he really tried. Woody says in The Messenger, he really cried. He lived in Costa Rica with his kids and his wife. In the movie Seven Pounds, he plays a vegan, and he's a vegan in real life. Woody Harrelson is a big-time Hollywood player. Bill Murray did the Zombieland cameo for Woody as a favor. Bill fucking Murray! He is great in the land that zombies infested. Shooting was delayed after Woody was caught with weed and was arrested. In the film called 2012, he played a man who was right about the end of time's conspiracy. Now that film seems kind of dated. Literally. Paparazzi got all up in Woody's face and he got all pissed. Then the paparazzi sued Woody, but the case got dismissed. In his next film, he played a crooked cop with a tough damn heart. It was a film called Rampart. This film caused an awkward AMA Reddit fail. Woody learned how to lose weight from Christian Bale. Woody is crazy on and off screen, and for that they pay him. He was in that HBO film about Sarah Palin. The Red Hot Chili Peppers are his friends, and he was in that kids film about kids killing kids. The Hunger Games made a lot of money. He was in Seven Psychopaths. I hear that movie's funny. Woody was in that movie where he does magic, and he claims to be a sex addict. Now you see him, now you don't. And did I mention that Woody Harrelson loves to smoke dope? He plays around with the cards life dealt him, and he also plays dominoes with Willie Nelson. Woody does inspire, he is honest and earnest. His acting was on fire in Out of the Furnace. Woody Harrelson is an actor you should hire, and he got hungry for more games in Catching Fire. It's a big franchise that the box office could not ignore. And Woody didn't know that his co-star's brother was Thor. All the mysteries in the universe, the answers, he knows. And Woody was in that documentary, Ethos. All Woody Harrelson does is win. Like when he scored the winning goal at Soccer Aid 2010. In The Edge of 17, he improvised and did not follow the screenplay. He also played US President LBJ. Let's say cheers to Woody. Most everybody loves him. And he did the first ever live movie called Lost in London. It was broadcast live into theaters as it was being shot. It was based off a true story when Woody ran from the cops and whatnot. Woody gets in trouble with the law a lot, so what you gonna do? Lost in London was actually his directorial debut. You can always catch a good Woody movie when flipping through the channels. He rode his bike 1,000 miles behind a hemp oil bus with solar panels. Now he's a sober family man, always good to his children. Woody was in the movie based on the graphic novel Will Sin. Woody Harrelson is now considered one of the greats, and he channeled Marlon Brando in War of the Planet of the Apes. He is very talented, no one compares to him. Sometimes it's good to be kinda crazy, like Woody Harrelson.